right, welcome to the Word of God. We're talking about Psalms 127 from the Living Bible. And Psalms 127 opens up with, Unless the Lord builds a house, the builder's work is useless. Well, what does he mean by that? Well, let's talk about that. Have you ever questioned what we are all doing here? Have you ever looked at your work and questioned, what is the purpose? I know I have many times. My work is now centered on the internet, and sometimes all this information flowing around seems just ridiculous. Where does it all end? What's the point? Well, it took me quite some time to get to the point where I now, where I'm now okay with this. Unless the Lord builds the house, the builder's work is useless. I remember when I had taken a long break from the Word of God online and had not posted for months. I opened up the site and and I could physically see the lack of my discipline to the Lord in doing His work. When I started the Word of God online, I intended for my own discipline to the Lord. I know the impact of reading the Word daily and what it has on my life. That being said, I have fallen away many times and gone long periods without following what I know is good for me. Have you done that before? Well, I think we all have had times when we knew what we were doing was not good for us, but we went ahead and did it anyway. I think that's part of life. Well, the Lord wants us to build up His house. If we build only for ourselves, we'll come to the realization that it's useless and pointless. It removes purpose out of our life when we ignore our Creator. If God is not in your life, then I am sure you will be at some time moved by God, and you will feel the emptiness without Him. We were created to fellowship with God. He created us for His pleasure and said in Genesis, It is very good when He created man. There is no question a life without God is going to be lacking. We are physical, spiritual, and emotional creatures created in the image of God. We are created in that image. If that is true, then a part of the spiritual nature of God resides in you and me. We could try to deny this if we want to, but life will be dissatisfying for sure. I have experienced this on many occasions and I can tell you from my experiences that I would much rather live a life that has God in the center than live a life with me in the center. In today's world, we see imagery, commercials, and many other worldly aspects that place focus on putting ourselves in the center of our world without God. Well, that's sin, and it is pervasive. We now see a generation growing up without God at the center, and the result is disastrous, without a doubt. The house of me that is being built is being built upon a foundation of sand, and it's just waiting for the tides of life to come sweep you away. Maybe you've already experienced this and have struggled to find your way again. I know there's a huge difference between Christians and non-Christians in how people react to life situations when the storms of life hits with a flood or tidal wave in our life. To think that if if you are a Christian you'll be protected from this is, is a big mistake. That is not what the Word says and if anything at all we may come under more uh, attacks than those who are not walking with God. If you build your house by yourself without God, it's useless and empty. Don't do it. Find your way back to God and get Him in the center of your life. There you will find purpose in whatever it is that you do. There you will find hope. There you will find love. There you will find the goodness and the mercy of God waiting for you to live a life that has purpose and meaning to you and to God. Thanks for listening to today's information about the Word of God, and for more Bible readings and information, you can go to www.wordofgodonline.com. There's a ton of scripture on there, and readings, and videos, and audios. It's all free, and it's there for you to take a look at. Have a great day. My name is Sam, and enjoy the wonderful day.